In the previous session, we have seen how you can set up a development environment for SPFX on your local computer. In this session, we will start with how you can create your first SPFX web part. If you saw my previous video, we have talked about Human SharePoint Generator. So it's a basically, it's a tool uh, which will help us to scaffold our SharePoint framework web part. So in this session, we are using, we are going to use the same tool which is Human SharePoint Generator. It will help us to build our first SPFX web part. So when we run this uh, command for creating our first SPFX web part, it will scaffold the solution and it will provide us a basic hello world uh, SPFX web part template. So without further delay, let's see how we can set up a first uh, SPFX web part. So now I will share my screen and walk you through step by step process on how to start with SPFX first hello world web part. So here is our blog. If you navigate here over SharePoint you can find the third link which is first hello world web part. So just click on it. You will get landed to this page. So here I have explained step by step process for creating your first SharePoint framework web part. So let's start. So first step is creating a folder in your local computer so what i did is under e drive i have created one folder named as spfx course so let's do the same so i have i am in the e drive so let's let me create a new folder spfx course now just copy this path now if you see uh, i have copied the path now the third step is navigating to that folder. So in SPFX, uh, we are going to scaffold our SharePoint framework web part. So to scaffold the web part, we need to first open the folder solution or the uh, folder path in the command prompt or we can say in the console. So to open the uh, folder path in the console, just open your command prompt and if you run it with administrator it will be better so just run it with admin okay now you can see i am under uh, c folder right now c drive so but we have created the folder under e drive so to for you first need to move it to e drive so to move into e drive just type the e colon now you can see i am under e folder now type cd so cd stands for change directory space and just paste the copied path and hit enter now you can see we have navigated to the e, e drive with our spfx course folder now we are good now now uh, if you see i have written it like how you can navigate to the uh, created folder so now we are here now to create a spfx web part type the below command to generate the folder structure using yeoman generator so uh, if you saw if you saw my previous video i have explained you what is human generator now in this step we are going to create a uh, spfx web part uh, sample template using human generator so you just need to use this command yo at the rate microsoft slash sharepoint so yo stands for human space at the rate microsoft slash sharepoint hit enter now it will take some time okay now you can see uh, welcome to sharepoint client side solution generator so this is a human template and it it will now ask us few questions related to our web part like web part name description and the javascript framework that we need to use and so on so if you see i have written all the steps here so uh, what is the solution name so here i mentioned like um, uh, you need to provide your uh, name of your solution so i used spfx project so based on your sharepoint environment you need to choose the baseline package so i have selected the sharepoint online only so let's go one by one so it's now asking us what is your solution name 
so I will use SPFX project this one and just hit enter now it is asking us which baseline package do you want to target for your components so uh, if you are on SharePoint online platform you can use the first option if you are on 16 including 19 and SharePoint online so second option is for uh, let's say you are using SharePoint 2019 so you can use this option or the third one because third one also includes the SharePoint 2019 so for now uh, we will go with SharePoint online only so just hit enter now it's asking where do you want to place the files so use the current folder or create a subfolder with the solution name so uh, what I will do is I will just use the current folder now it's asking do you want to allow the tenant admin to choice of being able to deploy to the solution to sites immediately without running any feature deployment so this option is important uh, for example when you create any uh, consider that uh, you you are going to create one package uh, once you develop your web part so now uh, the process will be like you will deploy that package to the app catalog and uh, do you want admin to directly make that app available to all sites without um, activating any feature deployment or anything so uh, it would be better if you just put yes because that what that will do is like um, once you create the web part and deploy it it will be available under all site collections and you do not need to manually uh, add that app and all those things you just need to um, add that app uh, by using add an app option available into your site collection so for now i will uh, just type y and hit enter then it will ask will the component in the solution require permission to access the apis uh, so as a beginner level uh, you do not need to worry about this option so for now i will just put y and hit enter now it's asking me which type of client side component you want to create so for now uh, it's showing me the only web part option but you will get web part extension uh, option as well so just choose the web part because we are going to see the extension uh, in our uh, upcoming videos so for now just use the web part option now it's asking me what is your web part name so i'll put like let me see what i have written here yeah web part name so i'll just use the hello world so you can keep this as it is the default one just hit enter now it is asking me what will be the description so description will be available whenever you want to hover over the app you will uh, see the description of that app i will show you that thing later so for now just understand that the our description of this web part is hello world description hit enter now it's asking me which framework you would like to use so here you will get option like i don't want to use uh, javascript framework so i can use no javascript framework or i can use react as well you might you will get a uh, few more options like knockout js so based on your um, a skill set you can choose any of the javascript framework or no javascript framework so for now uh, i will go with no javascript framework and in upcoming videos i will uh, try to explain you how you can use the react with spfx so for now let's go with no javascript framework hit enter now you can see uh, it's creating a packages now meanwhile if you navigate to the folder this spfx course you can see all these files are uh, pre-generated means using this uh, human generator so if you see here uh, the human generator is running and it's scaffolding our uh, web part so it will take some time and yeah let's see how much time it will take okay finally this is completed and you can see uh, we have received the message like congratulations solution is created run gulp serve to play with it uh, so before uh, knowing about gulp serve you can see that uh, 
द मैसेज लाइक एडेड वन सेवन सेवन फोर पैकेजेस फ्रॉम वन जीरो फाइव फोर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटर्स सो दिस मीन्स दैट द एस पी एफ एक्स वेब पार्ट सैम्पल टेम्पलेट इज नाउ क्रिएटेड यूजिंग यूमन जनरेटर एंड इट्स लाइक यू यू माइट गेट सम वार्निंग्स और सम काइंड ऑफ वलनरेबिलिटीज बट फॉर नाउ यू कैन इग्नोर दैम वॉट वी जस्ट नीड इज लाइक वी शुड सी दिस काइंड ऑफ मैसेज सेंग कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन इट्स क्रिएटेड सो नाउ इफ यू सी हियर अंडर फोल्डर यू कैन सी एवरी ऑल द फोल्डर्स आर नाउ क्रिएटेड सो बेसिकली दिस फोल्डर विल बी हैविंग अूज साइज सो बेस्ड ऑन दिस ओनली दिस फोल्डर विच इज नोड मॉड्यूल्स दिस ओनली कंज्यूम्स लॉट ऑफ मेमोरी एंड रेस्ट ऑफ द फाइल्स आर क्वाइट स्मॉल इन साइज सो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट वॉट दीज फाइल्स आर एंड वॉट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी फाइल एंड हाउ दे विल हेल्प अस इन बिल्डिंग द एस पी एफ एक्स वेब पार्ट सो फॉर नाउ लेट्स जस्ट सी हाउ द वेब पार्ट is generated how and how we can uh, visually uh, see the web part in sharepoint so there is a concept of um, um, local workbench uh, uh, which we are going to see in uh, next video so uh, let's first see what actually this gulp serve do so let's see i will just type the gulp serve and hit enter okay at this point uh, you can see that uh, that gulp serve has opened my uh, chrome browser uh, with some local host uh, saying like it's kind of some workbench and i have also uh, seen uh, some kind of notification saying your connection is not private so at this stage uh, you can see that our um, spfx web part it's trying to open some kind of a uh, web uh, web browser window where um, it's it's trying to load some kind of ui so what you need to do at this point is like you need to click on advanced and you need to click on proceed to local host okay perfect now you can see a kind of sharepoint uh, uh, ui where you can see a, a ribbon here and uh, some kind of uh, modern page look and feel so uh, i have mentioned these steps in our blog like it's it's uh, it it will give us this kind of information and all and now you can see uh, i have explained you what actually the gulp serve do is like this will execute a gulp task and start the web server to run the spfx web part it will open your default browser and loads the local host 4321 and 5432 so you can see it has opened our 4321 now uh, you can see that uh, your first web part when you click on the plus button you can see the hello world web part here so let's see whether we can see it yes i can see that web part and now you can see um, on the hover of this i can see some kind of tool tip or the title which is like hello world description so this is the same description that we discussed while creating the web part so let me click on this web part okay now you can see this web part is uh, we can say a sample template human has provided we have the option to edit the web part and here you can see the web part title web part description uh the property pane uh, group field group name and the description field and description field is kind of uh input box so if you delete it you can instantly see the changes uh, being reflected here so if i type anything like office 365 notes you can see it's instantly getting reflected now i'll say like spfx course by mayuresh joshi okay now if i close this property pane and just click on save let me refresh whether it will retain that property or not yes now that property is retaining so the functionality it's simple 
uh, it's kind of a uh, workbench is kind of a modern page where we can uh... okay uh, let me create a separate video on local workbench which where i will discuss what exactly the workbench do and what is the difference between local workbench and sharepoint workbench so uh, we will see that uh, video in the next so for now uh, we are ready with our first spfx web part where we can configure the property pane where we can configure the description field which is being instantly reflected here and also in the coming videos i will show you how you can place the apply button here so that if you don't want uh, whatever changes you are directly doing here if you don't want those changes instantly being reflected here then we can have the apply button so that on the click uh, click of apply button then only your uh, changes will get reflected here so uh, let's see what else is there so yeah i think we are good for uh, this video hi all my name is mayuresh joshi from office365notes.com on this blog i write articles related to office 365 technologies if you are an office 365 developer i would recommend you to go and check out that blog and also subscribe to it so that you will get notified for all my upcoming updates. I hope you have liked this video. If so, do not forget to subscribe to our channel to get daily updates re related to Office 365 development activities. And finally, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.